Good evening, friend. Friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Night Grab Bag. I couldn't figure out uh, what else I wanted to play, so we're just going to do another randomizer. <laughs> like, we did one last week and it was super generous to us. We did Crystal Rando with Key Sanity and all that. Um, and we had one crystal to harm Ganon and two crystals to get in the tower. So it was a really quick one. It was like a sub-140 or something. Um, so we're going to do another one tonight and, and hope it's just as generous. Maybe even more so. Hmm. But we'll never know. We'll never find out until we actually play the thing. So let's get this going. In three, two, one, go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's get some cool stuff right out the gate. It's a key. The desert palace. Oh, there's the desert palace. Small key for us. I guess that's good. I guess that's good and fine. I don't have to worry about trying to find it later. But would have preferred like some piece of equipment. <laughs> Just to start this out, please. Interesting, only one blue guard there. Ooh, full ass magics on the tree pole, huh? Okay. Well, now we know. We know where we can get an easy magic refill. Uncle? Twenty bucks. A little bit of pocket change. As he's laying there having a nap. Bomb drops. Ooh, a mirror. Wow. <laughs> okay. Super early mirror. That's... You know what? That's good. I'm happy to see that. Ten arrows in the church. Not terribly helpful. Not terribly helpful there. But early ass mirror. Good for dark world routing. Good for making blocks disappear in caves and shit. Um, not terribly useful from the start here, though. But even so, rather have it than not. Rather have it than not. I'd hope for maybe bomb drops off the crab would be real nice. Eh? No, oh, 20 buckos is pretty good, too. Get, let me get it. Ding dong. Okay, well, that's, that's bomb money and that's bottle vendor cash. We'll hit another one on our way through the woods. Over Jack Ledge is bombs. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's a, a good sign that perhaps Aga 1 will not be required this time. Wouldn't that be something? It'd be real nice. Something like last time, it was the hook shot on that ledge. It's a, a real pain in the booty. Really? Dude. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. Oh, and then another 20 bucks on the mushroom spot. Sure. Sure, why not? We'll hit the thieves den here, then we'll probably grab that crab one more time. Seeing as how we weren't able to get a whole ton of money off them the first time. Ooh, a big key. T -t Desert Palace. Well, boy howdy. The small key and the big key to Desert Palace right away. I think they want us to go to Desert Palace. Too bad we can't get in there just yet. Alright, I don't want this bush crab one more time. We'll put him off to the north here. Okay, that's better. 300 buckos before we hit Kakariko. That'll suit us just fine for the early game. Really nice to get Zora Cash out of the way, like, immediately, but... No such luck. Well, actually... Hold a second, sir. <laughs> Can you drop a bomb for us or something? No? Oh, nuts. Well, that being the case, then let's grab bombs, like, right away. I suppose we could hit, uh, back at the bar first. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this will be a three-pack of bombs or something. Nope! It's bearing a bottle, but hey, there's Sick Kid. There's Sick Kid for us. Let's see what he's got. Eh? Ah, oh, the Arrow of Destiny. Come on, man. 
Not what we wanted. That's okay. I'm gonna do things from south to north this time, I suppose. Chicken hut, and then well, and then blinds hut. Oop. Really messed up the chicken throw, and now we are almost dead. <laughs> small key to... Oh, castle tower small key. Yuck. Didn't want to see that. I suppose even if we don't have to defeat Egawan, we could still... get stuck going there. So there might be an item in those one of those two spots up there. But we'll need the lamp. We'll need the lamp for the second spot at the very least, and then we'll need a method to get in the in the door for the first one. But whatever, it's fine, I'm sure. We have a lot of stuff to do before that even becomes a problem. Piece of candy there, 20 buckos. Another piece of candy, oh, we're at three for four. Another 20 buckos, wow, all right. Blind set, being a real, real bust here. <laughs> Oh, all right, I guess that gets us the refill, so thanks. Gets us the refill and the extra heart. Not super good. Not exactly what we were looking for, but whatever. We haven't had anything of super good value except for the mirror. Well, there's a big key to Meyer. All right. Another piece of candy, my goodness. Ugh, oh, it's gonna be the very silly start here. Oh, the other castle tower small key, oh no. The burrito to G tower, oh, worthless. And the big key to Skullwoods. We got three big keys already. But no equipment, <laughs> besides the mirror and the bottle, I suppose. But boy howdy, that was a bad Kakariko. Do not like. like. 1 out of 10. Would not recommend. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes. That's why it's randomizer. You never know what you're gonna get. We got library check, we got race game, we've got... And then we, I guess we go south short, huh? So we don't really have a whole lot of options. Hey, Yumi Guapin, how you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, but a piece of candy on the library, so we don't care about that. Don't care so much about that, but we'll see what race game has. Yep, this is the the traditional Zelda sprite. So we're doing some role reversal here. It's up to Zelda to save Hyrule. We'll do it. This might take a while. For no other reason that other than Rando can be a, a little bit of a sh Alright, well, I guess we'll grab this since we're here. Not a terribly exciting Kakariko. We've got, what, six bombs? That should be enough to clear uh, Mini Wormulon Cave and get Ice Rod Cave. Oh, and also the dam, I suppose. Oops, excuse me, sir. You know, I'm actually kind of curious now, since we are playing as the Zelda Sprite, if we go back to Sync... Oh, well, we were in Sanctuary a couple times. I guess I just didn't pay attention. I wonder if Link's back there now instead of another Zelda. But 20 buckos there. We'll see what's under the water shortly here. I guess we'll have to pay attention next time I S and Q out to Sanctuary. Who's actually standing there with the priest? got under the water. Another piece of candy. You know what? We're grabbing it. We did all that hard work. We're grabbing it. Let's do fish rescue, too. Come here. I don't know... I don't know if the fish can give us anything else, maybe, besides rupees. Oh, wait. Actually. Four fish rescue. Yeah, there was a hoarder crab here. Excellent. That was a... 
That was a good haul. And we can still do fish rescue. Didn't bounce off screen. Oh. Hey, get out of the way. Rocks. Ooh, ooh, easy. Still a little dangerous with only four hearts. Well, heart and a half, I suppose. Alright, let's bird fuck off. Thank you. Shrescu nets us another bomb. You know what? That's good. <laughs> we kind of needed that. We have to be careful here, though. Good. Uh, if you two just want to keep wedged up there, can we get both? Nope. Dude, come on, man. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit silly, isn't it? Okay. One bomb left over for Ice Rod Cave. That's exactly what we needed. The Moon Pearl. Compass for Meyer. Another twenty buckos. Quack medallion and a heart container. Hey, how about that? Okay. Moon Pearl's nice. Um, that gives us... Well, we can do Waterfall Wishing now. Uh, however, I do want to make sure we have Zora Cash, since we're going to go up there. So it's going to do one more Bush Crab, and we'll have plenty of money. I hope, if he cooperates. Excellent. Let's grab a little bit of extra spending money here. Good, good, good. to Ice Rod Cave. Ooh, sir. Excuse me. Very dangerous. Crabs will do two hearts at a pop. With the very little protection we have. After this, we'll fake Flipper, we'll grab Hobo. Oh, well, there's Sankheart. Very good. Kind of early to see that, but whatever. Alright, so we'll do fake Flipper, we'll grab Hobo. Uh, Waterfall Wishing and Zora. And then, ugh, then we don't really have many options. Then I guess it's Sahash and dip into Eastern, maybe? I also do front side escape, but we don't really have any weaponry. <laughs> I could get a pack of bombs and do front side escape. That's always kind of kind of silly. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You know. Oh wait, what am I doing? Fake flip ring. Right past where I needed to be. That's a fun lineup without a sword. Oop, too far. There. Oh. There we go. If I had an extra bomb, I could have done the bomb lineup too, but no such luck. We are fresh out of bombs. What we got on the island? Oh, the hammer's on the island. Well, the good news is pretty much as soon as we have. Oh my god. Way to get hung up on the dumb ledge. Alright. <laughs> okay, good. It didn't pop my fairy there. That would have been even sillier. Okay, well... We're gonna do that again. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna grab some bombs. So I have the money for it. But alright, well, the good news about finding the hammer on that island is... As soon as we get access to... Dark World, we pretty much have access to the hammer. Oh, wait, this wasn't the bomb shop? Where was the bomb shop? I thought there was one, like, right nearby. It's the other cave. Oh, it's this one over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Back to fake flippering, and hopefully not getting bopped by a fireball on the way. 
because we could go bother that bush crab for another pack of 20 rupees too since we're on our way. We've given 500 buckos of it up to Zora. There. Another hundred. Another hundo in our pockets. That's probably gonna be... Do it again. That should be enough cash for the remainder of the game. We'll pick up enough in chests and shit. On our way through to everywhere else. Jackass bird. This is terribly important that we do this right now, but we can't even get anything out of it. Got a refill, I guess. There. So, technically not out of logic just yet, but I suppose we will be out of logic going for both Zora and Water for All Wishing, since we don't have a glove to get up there normally. Using the fake flipper water portal here. Swamp and a burrito to Thieves Town. All right, so not out of logic just yet. <laughs> Let's see what Zora has to say. It can be worth the trip. Small key on Zora Ledge. That's mm, not fun. So we'll need to come back when we have the flippers. Let's see what 500 bucks buys us today. Eh? <laughs> Great, thanks. 500 bucks for 20 bucks. What a shitty investment. Alright, well, I guess we'll do front side escape. We did just buy that 10 pack of bombs, so that'll be enough. Definitely not going to attempt Dark Cross without a lamp and without a sword, and without anything, really, to navigate in the darkness. Just do the three on front side escape, we'll leave Dark Cross for later. So, I mean, after this, we've really just got Sahash going into Eastern and uh, Agina over in the desert. It's the extent of where we can go. All of which are kind of a walk. Yep, that's our that's our options here. Oh shit! All right, just stay there, you idiot. Fifty bucks. Oh boy. Well, replace the bombs I'm gonna use. Just... Hey. It's 
two more bombs now for this dude. Well. Oh my god, really? Okay, <laughs> fine. Oi. Looks like front side escape was not the play to make here. Oh well. Win some and or lose some. More often than not, lose some. I'm pretty healthy though, I've already got seven hearts. Ah, and three bombs to replace the bunch we've been using. Okay. Okay. Um, well, it's gonna be Agana or or Sasha Schersterberger. But let's play the numbers. Let's go for five to six over here, and then one over in the desert. Yeah, can you imagine how much that would have hurt? Like a full, like a big ass ceramic pot, just right to your fucking face. That's gotta hurt, right? I mean, granted, that dude had some, like, looked like steel plate armor or something, but still, like, just the kinetic force behind it. Must have been outstanding. Alright, what do we got? Hey, a pokey weapon, finally, and the book, and the flippers. <laughs> Okay, that is some equipment. Green pendants and skull woods. Very good. Well, okay. Uh, we've got all the keys for desert. We just don't have a fire source to to finish it off. So maybe we just dip into eastern real quick here. Having the flippers kind of sucks. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go back up and get that key off the Zora ledge. Since we have no idea what it is. Small key to swamp. Ooh, all right. So we're getting a lot of the one-off small keys. We got the one to desert. Now we got the one to swamp. Ouch. Really, just need the one to uh, Thieves Town. I think that's all the one-offs. Two or three by now for those. Never quite remember. Hopefully we didn't get four. Use a bomb somehow to clear that. Oops. Hey, a lamp. Excellent. No dark rooms for us, please. Unique item is near Misery Mire. All right, so that's either Mire Shed or Checkerboard Cave or something. Do we have the big key? We do not. Oh, plus that's our fire source, so now... Oops. 
desert is full clear. Fully clearable. So we've already got all the keys that we need for it. Gonna have to hope there's nothing on the torch to prevent us from doing a dumb. Oh wait, I guess it's not full clear, but we don't have a don't have a glove. Hmm, that's annoying. Burrito to swamp. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Now we still don't really have much of a of a choice here, but I guess we'll go for desert, so that'll be the largest concentration of things for us. The Agena, it'll be Desert Legend, then it'll be whatever's in the dungeon proper, which is four items, I believe, not including the torch. Maybe five. No, four not including the torch, right, because the... The extra three, four... Oh, we can't do that, right? The extra three, four, uh, burrito, compass, and big key. Plus one, two, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got on the ledge here. Oh, burrito. No thanks. As tasty as a burrito would be right about now. Not terribly helpful for our current situation. <laughs> okay, that one's gotta be number three. Alright, Hagen is a bust. See if desert itself will be anything of value. So then after this, it's going to be Dark Cross, really. It'll be Dark Cross and I guess go into Zora Ledge to get that key, but that doesn't exactly open up anything. Unless Zora Ledge is the key for Dark Cross, that would be, or for the back rather, that would be kind of wild. actually almost encourage me to go back for it before uh, <laughs> before even bothering I suppose huh Ooh, half magic is nice wish we had something to, to use it with. I do, I suppose we've got Quack. We've got the good old Quack medallion, but that's not terribly helpful. Fifty bucks. Another big key to Ice Palace, boy. Not exactly what we were hoping for. But we've still got a big chest and we can check what's on torch and then we're out of here. No glove upgrade, we can't do the back half. The back third, I guess. What we got on the torch? Oh, there's a bow on the torch. Boo! <laughs> Boo, ooh, ooh. Well, that's good to know that's where it is. So if we get the other bow, then we'll know where silvers are. But all right, okay. Let's file that away in our mind brains for now. Another old heart container, okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> I guess we'll go get that key off of Zora Ledge first, and then we'll go for Dark Cross. Which, at this point, has to have something. I don't know why I went this way. I should have gone the other way. Too late. Just 
shit. That bow on the torch really sucks. <laughs> that really does suck. Such a fucking tease. This ends up being the Hyrule Castle key. This would have, well, this will have been a an excellent move. But we will see shortly. Yes. Hoping. Here's hoping, I guess. Was this all for naught? Was this like a Skullwoods key or a Misery Miner key or something like that? Hey, look at that! The Hyrule Castle key! What a good move. What a good choice that was. Okay, well, Dark Cross and then back half of Escape. One of these four items, or perhaps more of them, more than one, will be some value. have to be something that gets us up the mountain, or that gets us into Dark World, or something. So my guess is going to be like a, a lift upgrade or something, because that'll get us up the mountain. Which would get us to Hera, since we've already got the mirror. But it could be a lot of different things, so... Let's see what we got. Hey, there's the other bow! Alright, now we know where Silvers are. Okay. Hey, that's nice. That's very nice. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, surely. Hmm. Okay, well that opens up only one thing, though. That only gives us, uh, Armos in Eastern there. Let's see what else we got. Red goo, another sword, and another sword! <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Um, hmm. We do have both tower keys. All right, here's what we're gonna do then. God, these guys hardly do any damage. I'm gonna death warp back to the start so we can take care of the two the two tower chests right away. There we go. Oh no, I forgot I had a fairy. Ah fuck. <laughs> oh god, this is the slowest death warp ever. Dumb things only do a quarter heart at a crack. I'd be faster just to go find the snakes. At least they do some considerable damage. Also bombs. We'll do a full heart, I think, right? that backup fairy, I guess. But still probably faster than trudging back here on foot. Oh man, so we've already got Tempered Sword. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. 
still, it took an awful lot of running about to get that. Suppose we only needed the one tower key to get both of these items. That was kind of a bust. That was only three bombs. It's just the one chest in the maze, the dark maze here. And then we out. Cause we ain't We ain't doing the the Aga kill, the Aga one kill. Cause we shouldn't need to. Small key to pod. Alright. Well, Actually, maybe I should have gone through with it, because that might be our Dark World access. I guess it's too late. I have to go back and do that. Because still, we're sitting on only one... One item... That we can get in Easter now. It's the boss item off of Armos. So I probably should have just gone through with the... With the play to get into Dark World from... The Aga 1 kill. Too late! Might just have to go back for it. Exciting things going on right now. Just wanna, wanna pop Armos real quick and then we'll probably have to go back to Eggatow. Dang it. Didn't think that one through. I don't remember where the heck these bastards are. Hope against hope, this is a crystal button, too. You can at least knock that out. I don't have the big key! Odd! Dip dang damn. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a real big idiot. <laughs> so yeah, we need to do Aga Tower anyways. All right. Okay, great. Hey, what gets you started in LTTB speedruns anyways? Why this specific game? Well, I mean... Technically speaking, I guess this isn't really a speedrun. It's a it's a randomizer. I like doing the randomizer. Surely. Um, I've never done, like, the any percent speedrun or anything like that. Because I, I don't find that terribly exciting. But LTTP I used to play a whole lot as a wee babby. And it blew my mind when I first discovered the randomizer for it. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But I really would like to try randomizers for a bunch of other games, too. Like that. That would be fun. Like, Final Fantasy 1 has a pretty sick rando to it. I discovered that Celeste has a randomizer. Which is fantastic. Might play that at some point. Um, unfortunately, La Mulana, both one, at, at least one has randomizer. I don't know if two has a randomizer yet, but I'm pretty sure somebody's working on it. Then, of course, Zelda 1 has rando. Uh, Zelda 2 has rando. Like, pretty much every any game you can think of, it's got a rando. <laughs> Which is wild. Which is wild and, 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 and crazy to me, but... You know, that's cool. I'm, I'm so glad that people are super smart and have such a great amount of ingenuity to make randos for a whole bunch of stuff. It's wild. But yeah, La Mulana randomizer. It's it's kind of a joy to watch. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is kind of fun to watch. Um, oh, nice. Dude tripped and fell over his own feet there. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I, I love the, the concept of a randomizer just to give you more of a reason to, to replay games and shit. Like, because some are, some are just good one and dones, and a randomizer gives it new life, you know? Oh, 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 sirs, please. Sirs, please. Sirs! Those dudes, do I? Like, I guess for just in my case, for LTTP specifically, like the whole 16 bit era to me is just a, a rad era of console vigigans. So being able to play this over and over and over again and have it be different every time, it's like, oh man, super good. Super good and fun. And it's about as complex as I can handle as my aged, frequently forgetful old man brain can handle. And that's even with a map and an item tracker. <laughs> so I don't think I would fare too well against anything more complex than this. Without either similar or better tools at my disposal, really. Ah, two blue balls, come on, man. Could get lucky and still two-cycle this if he decides not to throw him. Any more blue balls? Damn it! <laughs> you little shit. Oh. Shithead egg on. Alright, well, guaranteed three cycle. Oh, nice. I even missed it, so that's good. Good job. Alright, suck shit, Ega one You are our gateway into the dark world. But, it also means we can get the hammer. So that's fun. Oh, and we can check crystals here. Five crystals to beat Ganon. Okay. That's something. It's less than seven, so that's good. Grab these bombs, just because we need some. I think we've only got the one pod small key, right? Yeah, that's silly. But I believe we will grab the hammer first. Since we know where it is, and then we can use it in pod very shortly. That gets us to even more places, then. We don't even need to go into pod. But I guess we're gonna be, like, literally right here, so we may as well do it, right? So who knows what it could have in the first... One... Two... Three... Four... We could get four I No, we could get five. Six. We could get six items out of pod with just this one key. I think. Yeah, because we can skip the front door. So yeah, I think doing an early pot with just the one small key is still a good idea. 
We'll have the one on the left side. The very start. And we'll have two and three after we go down on the right side. And then four on the narrow ledge. Five on the center platform after using our one key, and then six after the drop down. So, let's play the numbers game. Six in pod that we can get to. And then we'll be hitting Hype Cave. We could technically get into Swamp. We've got the, the one small key and the flippers. Ugh, going to Swamp doesn't sound like a fun time, though. Although that is a rather large concentration of items there, too. Oh, hey, there's another pod small key. Okay. So that'll get us... That'll get us a few more items. We make some trade-offs here. Art containers and mini Moldorn cave. Thanks. What a good and timely hint. Got that like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> There's the small key to Thieves Town. Okay. Pretty good. 300 buckos. Well, we're definitely set for cash. Okay, so with these two small keys, then, I think our best bets will now be to go to the back half of Pod. Because <clears throat> that will get us, let's see, one, two, three, and then we can hit this last one on the way out, I guess. And we don't have the big key, do we? No, okay. That goes there. I guess we did just need the one... Hmm. Thinking if we do over there and get the big chest, or do we get the one on the center island? Ooh! Busy Bambos! It's a, a more useful magic. It's candy, it's good for another one. Alright, we're at nine hearts. Very good. Piece of candy. Ooh. Hmm, I guess if we're gonna have to head to the back half again anyways... <coughs> may as well just do the center raised chest here. <coughs> On our way out. So then the next time we come back with more keys, we can go straight to the back half and take care of business. After we get the big key, of course. We'll just do this one. We'll just do this pair of chests on our way out. So then that'll leave the two in the dark maze, plus the big chest is three. And then the narrow hallway is four, and then the boss will be five, so there'll be five left here. Not terribly lucrative, but whatever. We did it whilst we were there. <clears throat> so I guess what we'll do now, we'll head down to the south side, we'll get Pipe Cave on the way through, and then we'll probably do Stumpy and Dig Game before we head back to Swamp. 
at least kind of knock out that little that little bit. Then we can also do... Oh, that's right, we've got the mirror already. So we can do Cave South of Grove and uh, Bombo's Tablet, too. Five, six crystals, too. What do we got? Ice and Eastern. Ah, oh, Eastern's a five sixer. Okay. Patchwork of, of an item menu. Alright, Hype Cave, this is your time, man. This is your time to shine. That's so much shit we could get in. Oh, another pod small key. Alright. Ten arrows. <laughs> Piece of candy. Uh, another pod small key. Oh my god. And another ten arrows. Come on. <laughs> Hype Cave, please. Why are you so bad? Just constantly the worst cave. the minimum number of crystals the randomizer can give you to fight Ganon Chant. Zero, in fact. Goes from zero to seven for both uh, harming Ganon and for getting into Ganon's tower. They could, in theory, both be zero. Um, but I haven't been lucky enough to get that ever. I haven't done a whole lot of crystal randos, but the one I did last week... Um, it was actually rather nice. It was one crystal to harm Ganon, and two to get into the tower. So that whole seed ended up being a sub-140, which was fantastic. Last weekend. Not so much luck this weekend, though, since we know what we need five crystals to, to hurt Ganon. We don't know the, the tower amount yet, though, since we haven't been up to the mountain. Heart container. T-Rock. T-Rock was the one we just got, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, dig game, and then I guess we'll go for Swamp. Oh, Bombos first, I suppose, before we head into Swamp. Swamp is just such a pain in the ass to... to get into. I'd rather not go more than once, but we're gonna have to. Since we don't have a hookshot. Unless we get the hookshot in Swamp proper. That should be hilarious and kind of silly. And arrows. What a waste of my, what was it, 80 bucks? 80 buckos to dig around and shit? Wasted my time and money. Thanks for nothing, big game. So we're gonna have to go all the way around. So we don't even have a single lift upgrade to get past this rock here. Ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous that we're into Dark World without even the gloves. That's wild. But, randomizer can do all sorts of weird things. It just happens to be one tonight. But, we also have Tempered Sword already, so, you know, trade-offs. Little trade-offs that we have to endure.
20 bucks on the bombos tablet. Boo oo earns. All right, well, in the swamp we go. I guess our other option is to go back to Pod. So we've procured two more small keys since. But I'd rather not do that. So let's go to Swamp. A fresh dungeon to explore and or loot. So we're gonna have access to here. Got one on the approach in the very front lobby here. The first one behind the wall. Ten arrows, oh boy. There's one, two, three at the compass, and then two on the left side. So five? We're gonna get half of them. Oops. Ah, shoot. I saw blue in my item slot. I thought those were bombs. Alright, well, whatever. Oh my goodness. The boots. Okay, well now we can go get the silver arrows. <laughs> Since those are on the torch in, uh, in Desert Palace. Okay. That's something. That's something. Already some value very shallow into Swamp Palace here. That's good. That's good. Make the trip worth it. Let's see. Third item back at compass spot here, then there'll be two on the left side, I guess, that we can get. And that will be the extent of our travels in Swamp for the time being, unless we get something... <clears throat> unless we get the hookshot, I guess, or the big key. Oh my goodness, there's our first lift upgrade. Almost an hour in, we finally have the power gloves. So bad. Well, that unlocks a lot. <laughs> that puts the mountain now on the table. Uh, we can do the back part of Swamp. We can finish off Swamp in its entirety, in fact. Which might be a good play, because then that'll give us silvers as well. And now we've got access to... another Dark World portal as well, since we already have the hammer. Ugh, just that couple of items just locked off everything. Hilarious. Alright, well, now we've got some choices. We've got many choices. Slow way and fall down twice. Cause new hook shit. <laughs> Dang it. Can't be there.
if I remember to hit that switch again. I think I did. I think I did. Yes, I did. Good. Ooh, blue mail. Alright. A little extra protection. We'll take that. Okay, so that's half seas on swamp. Is it worth walking around and doing anything else? Probably not for now. Let's, well, I guess since we're really close to desert, why don't we just go finish off desert? Real quick go of things to get in and get out. Do our thing. Ooh, ah, that's... Get our silver arrows, which will make the remainder of the game quite fast. Armos will go down easy. Cold stair, well, not cold stair necessarily, but vitreous will be no problem. So, this will at least be guaranteed no spin strats and no serverless scanning. You'll love to see it. Easy peasy Ganon fight. What would make it even easier is Butter. A little Butter Sword would be nice too, but honestly at this point it's optional. Swamp is uh, a crystal dungeon here. Butter is never optional. It's a way of life. You're right. You know, cooking with butter is fantastic. Like, mm, 10 out of 10. Always recommend. It's so delicious. Not great for you, but so delicious. What I've also started doing is saving the saving the grease off of bacon that I cook and using that in some of my dishes as well. Oh, it's so tasty. So tasty and good. Again, probably not good for me, but awesome and delicious. So I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't need that. Now he's toast. A little bit of bacon grease in with your pasta or something. Mmm, tasty. So tasty and good. Oh, nice. Oh. Got him. <laughs> ah, that's... Rocks threw me off there. Gotcha. Ah, oh, all for a piece of candy. And hopefully a crystal? Yeah, alright. Well, there's crystal number one, at the very least. Ow, Bucko 3 in. Crystal number one. We're gonna need at least five of them. So that's what we need to, to hurt Ganon, but... Maybe not too many more. Or maybe fewer, rather, to get into the tower. So now we've got a whole slew of places we can go. Oh, it is Zelda. We've got two Zeldas here. <laughs> Little time paradox. I guess that makes sense. How would they know which sprite you selected for the randomizer? To replace the sprite otherwise. Cause I think the, oops. Oh crap, that's right, I can't do this from the light world, since I don't have the don't have the mitts. That's okay. We'll get those in our get King's Tomb and Cave North of Graveyard in our next foray to the Dark World, which won't be that long from now.
Alright, well we are definitely plenty healthy now. Like, we don't need more than this. <laughs> we could have stopped at 10 hearts. That would have been fine. But, you know... I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna complain. Crystals have a power themselves to hurt Ganon as he actively refused to fight anyone not wearing a certain amount of bling. <laughs> no, it's just the MacGuffin, really. If you don't have the required number... Oops. If you don't have the required number to hurt him, your attacks will do nothing. Like, you can still go in and fight him. You can start the fight, but you just won't be able to do anything. Right, can't remember the old man. Ooh, old man's a locksmith, apparently. Another T Rock small key. Give the spin speed to work like the first time. Fuck it. <laughs> now why I'm bothering? You can just run. Mm, well, I did. I think I did have it there, and then I duffed it up by falling off. up top. Inside we have ooh, another small key. Okay. It's a shame we don't know which one it is until we go pick it up. <clears throat> I mean, send a typical see you soon email on Friday or nah. <laughs> For the smoke bomb. Small key to Misery Mire and a heart container held by someone friendly. Okay, well, we don't care about that. Well, I did give my typical two weeks. Like, not this past Monday, but the Monday before. So I was, uh... I was courteous enough to do that. Which is good, because I didn't, you know, I didn't have anything personally against anybody, so... Oh, so no, it was, a, it was a very amicable parting of ways in old employment. And then I start new employment on Monday. Which will be fun. Which will be fun and cool, I hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Silver's there. Ooh, don't. Does. Okay, ether tablet, hair. Oh, do we. Mmm, we don't have any keys for Hera, so this will be like one. One whatever. Uh, this will be the what? The, the basement and the, the back side of Hera, I guess? Alright, so this won't be very many. Unfortunately, I did not really think this path through. But we'll be able to get to Ooh, fire rod. Hell yeah. Take that fire rod. Two weeks ago was just for your manager, right? Uh well, yeah, I, I guess. I, I suppose it was, but you know, word travels, regardless. Word travels, so I did tell other people about it as well. Uh, nothing but bombs there. Oof. Alright, fire rod. And then I guess East Side Death Mountain. Yep. Let's see what's on. Ooh, Samaria. On the floating islands. Well, that's gonna be helpful. 
too bad I can't get it without the Titan's Mints. But good to know where Samaria is. That will be almost certainly required. Well, well, hey, there are the Titan's Mints. <laughs> Very convenient to have those there, actually, because now we can do Dark Side Death Mountain. Pretty much everywhere else. Red meringue. It's the only real key utility item we're missing now is the hookshot. And I suppose the ice rod if we do need to do um, T Rock at some point. Burrito for Easter. 20 buckos. Piece of candy. Red mail, nice. And a single ass rupee. It's always kind of a hard thing to do without the normal link spray, but we'll try it. There we go, good. I watched the shadow a little bit for that one. up if we can and check what T-Rock is. Good old Visited Bambos. Well, as soon as we get Samaria, we'll at least be able to go into T-Rock. Not terribly excited to do that since we only have, I think, one key? No, oh, no. It appears her dress did not change. She did get a, a nice ruby in her tiara, though. So we started off with an emerald up there for, for green mail, right? And then we swapped to a sapphire once we got to the blue mail, and now we've got a ruby for the red mail. Very powerful gems, apparently, to protect the, uh, the rest of her body. Oh, don't. You bastard. <laughs> Away from the ledge, you little shit. Oh, the bug net. Hooray. Kinda hesitant to grab Samaria here though. Cause then that means T-Rock is open. For a few things to be honest. So grab Super Bunny Chest before we do this though. Just in case there's like the hookshot or some other garbage in there. Compass to Hera, and the compass to T Rock. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well, let's see. One, two, three, maybe four? We can get maybe four items out of T Rock here? Since we're up here and all. Definitely got the equipment for it, if not the keys. 
Swamp Palace Big Key is in Swamp Palace. Dope! <laughs> well, okay. Not that it matters terribly, the only thing the Big Key will get us is the big chest. Key to my oh, we've got two small keys to T-Rock. Oh, we only had the one small key, so I think we're missing two. I don't think we can... We can't finish it off just yet, either. Kind of annoying to have to do this without the hookshot, but whatever. Um, small key to Skullwoods. All right, well, we've got plenty of Skullwood small keys. It's number three, I think. Don't need any more of those. Those dudes still do a lot of damage, even with red mail. Shit. Well, we've got a red potion just in case things get super hairy, but probably be good. For a little bit, at least. So we don't, do we have the big key here? I don't think so, right? We do not. Alright, so then I guess it's just Central Island and that's it. It's 5 out of 12. Oh, what's the... Oh, it's just another bunny. <laughs> That's funny. Change house for part of the Zelda universe. So that was Mario only, right? They're actually in uh, Link's Awakening as well, I believe. As are uh, Goombas and Piranha Plants. Link's Awakening was kind of a weird game. So it was a weird crossover type thing. Sort of. In some respects. Alright, so that wasn't a very lucrative T-Rock. We can't get to Mimic Cave just yet. So I think we're out of luck for now. Oh wait, we can go check... Uh, we can go check Castle Tower. Or, um, G Tower to see how many we need to get in. Since we're up here and all. So we needed what? Five? Oh no, it's zero! Oh no! <laughs> Need zero crystals to enter. Well, guess where we're going. <laughs> Wait, I've only got the one small key though. Boo. Yeah, yeah, you actually use the Chain Chomp um, as, uh, to get into the second dungeon in Link's Awakening, which is kind of funny. You take it around with you, and it chomps enemies for you. Ugh, alright, well, I guess we're here. We may as well get as many items as we can, because who knows. Who knows what we could- we could find the hookshot here. We could find anything here, really. Since these are now all fully within logic, based upon the items we have... Gotcha. 
Ouch. That's right, I forgot these things still do one full heart. Regardless of your armor. Boop 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 boop. Do 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 do. Another skull with small key. Come on. I don't need any more of those. Take the coward's route and use this. So now, really, it's just going to be a boomerang, fifty bucks. From pass to thieves, another 20 bucks. So now really it's just gonna be a mad dash to get crystals. To get four more crystals so we can go stick a sword in Ganon's back. Oh, and also I suppose we need to find um we need to find the G Tower big key. That's the other thing holding us up here. <laughs> Bucks on the torch. Ooh, this is gonna be fun to doing this without the hook shot. Mm, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try to bomb jump this, I think. Fun. Often have to do this bomb jump. required in logic, but <clears throat> we're gonna do it anyways since we're here. Think that should do it? I hope it doesn't shunt me off to the left. Okay, perfect. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. <laughs> Come on, at least make this worth my while, please. Four bombs. Ten arrows. Nope. What a waste getting back from it, it's easy. We'll have <clears throat> just enough small keys for this. Ooh, I'm gonna have to uh, do something fun here too, aren't I? Mm, 
burrito for Pod. The big key to Eastern. All right, that's good. 20 buckos and another heart container. <laughs> another piece of candy, which gives us another heart. Okay, well, the big key to Eastern is nice. That's another crystal. Unfortunately, we are on a small key, so we're gonna have to find one more in the wild somewhere. At least one more. Babies for a shield, more bombs, and the small key to pod. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty much all the pod small keys we need, right? So now we got three. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, not my most favorite Ganon's Tower in memory, but, uh, eh, it is serviceable, I suppose. Okay, so, I guess we can go knock out the rest of Eastern. That'll get us crystal number two. On top of another possible item. Two items. Do I have the big key? Yeah, we just got the big key there. So, two items there. Uh, and then I guess Thieves Town, etc. Since we now have access to that. jumping in G-Tower really did for us was skip a possible double dip. So I don't think we should have needed to go there without the hook shot. Or at least to the parts where I was doing bomb jumps. So, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what we got up there, but I know it was the big key to Eastern, right? There we go. Got you, little bastard. Hey, we did it properly that time work. Because it's just the big key to Eastern, and I feel like there was something else. Oh, babies for a shield, really, but other than that, not terribly helpful, huh? More money. Ah, for a heart 
container. Alright, we are exceedingly healthy now. 17 hearts, my goodness. But, there's Crystal 2, it's one of the five sixers, so we're halfway to Pyramid Ferry at the very least. There's anything else really terribly in range right now, so let's... S and Q out, go to Sanctuary, take the portal up in Kakariko. So then we can knock out Thieves Town. Oh, we could even technically do Ice Palace. Do we have the big key to ice? We do. We don't even need the big key to ice. We really just need a small key for Ice Palace. And then we'll be good to go there. That'll be the other 5 sixer. Uh, Thieves Town, I'm gonna hope is a... actually, wait. Check the map since we've got a whole bunch of burritos now. I'm gonna hope that Thieves Town is another crystal. That'll get us three for five. Ice Palace will be four. Let's see what we got here. Swamp is... okay, Pod would be another one as well. Well, if we can do Thieves and Pod and Ice... That would be great. Do we have the big key to pod? We don't, damn it. We have the big key to thieves. We don't. <laughs> Alright. Let's dip into swamp or not swamp. Skull Woods first. Uh how many spool keys do we have for Skull Woods? Only two, really? I thought we had more than that. But Two will be fine. Let's find a couple big keys in here, I hope. G Tower big key would be real nice. G Tower big key, the pod big key. Ice big key we don't give a shit about. We can do it without. G Tower big key is really the one that can be anywhere. As soon as we get that sucker, we'll be a little bit happier. Jeez, alright, that's enough hearts, please. We don't need any more. <laughs> wow. Wild. Oh, we don't need any more money either. Creepy. We do have the big key, though. Fire shield. I guess that's useful. Not terribly so, but sort of useful. I guess while we're up here, we should check MSP as well. Because that could be something. It could be a little something, couldn't it? So I don't forget about it later. Let's do it now. The worst possible thing it could be is probably mushroom or shovel. Just because then we wouldn't know what it actually is. Okay, it's a minor small key. I don't give a shit about that. <coughs> There's plenty of minor small keys out there to go around, so we don't need that one.
Ooh. And the T-Rock big key. I guess that's good and important. Means we need to find the Ice Rod at some point, though. Pretty soft touch of a fight. We've got so much health. Tempered sword. Half magic. Very little that could stop us here. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Fortunately, not good items and only the green pendant. But that is the green pendant, so it is another item. And if that happens to be G Tower Big Key or something, then it'll be all worth it. But for now, that's only the green pendant, and the Skull Woods is off the table. I guess we'll do North Side Dark World now. Check Bumper Cave. Cave North of Graveyard and King's Tomb before we hit up Village of Outcasts and Thieves Town. What do we got? He's candy. Alright, no problem. Nothing but 20 bucks. No biggie. was a bust too. Hooray. Honestly, Ice Cave, or not Ice Cave, uh, Ice Palace, just without anything, without anything else would probably be okay at this point. So there's quite a few items there. Hey CJ, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, whew. I guess we'll do Thieves Town first, though. Do I even have the big key, though? Ah, I don't. So it'll be a short-lived... It'll be the front half for four items, and then... Do our best thereafter. Yeah, the bear in a bottle. Put a backup. Small key to skull woods. Come on, we don't need any more of those. Done with skull woods. 
Hoi. All right, well. Let's keep rolling. Well, that was a good exchange, though. Was it 50 bucks for 300 there? Exactly what we needed, but... Well, now I'm getting a little toasty. Shed the switch right there. Whew. Okay. All right, let's go. A burrito for Hera. I guess that's probably important. Figure out what hair is. It'll be worth going back there. Do we even have the big key? No, we don't have the small or the big key for Hera. <laughs> Compass for desert. That's worthless. Two would be the big key for here. That'd be great. Another 300 bucks. My God. All right. Well, that's all the 300 buckos that we can get. Swimming in cash. Ten arrows. Oops. I want to quit out. Okay. So Thieves Town's sort of a bust. A few more overworld things we can do whilst we're in the area, though. T-Rock. You know what? That's probably good. We needed at least one more of those. Well, now we're going to be looking more for uh, um, the Ice Rod. Oh, actually, did we ever, ever record things? Ah, yeah. uh, this other one... Swamp is one, and ice we've already got. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Definitely know of enough crystal dungeons to get the five that we need. But we just don't have the keys and such to get through all of those. Which is not good. The only one we can really do right now is ice. We don't need the big key for there. What with the bomb jump and all that we can do to get around it. We've got the green pendant turn in. Mm. Not a whole lot we can do, unfortunately. We're locked out of the rest of Thieves Town. Swamp, we can't go any further without the hookshot. Oh, hookshot, we're gonna need to find a hookshot at some point. Uh, ice is really the only viable option unless we want to go back to Pod. Which. We have three more small keys and no big key. Ugh. We know the Swamp Palace big key is in Swamp Palace itself. That's not really that helpful, though. So I guess ice. Ice is probably the, the big numbers play here. Oh goody, compass. <laughs> to ice. Thanks, buddy. Very well-timed, I suppose. 
Do we have any keys for ice? We've got... Oh, we've got... We do have the big key. Oh. I would have preferred a small key. But big key is fine, too. I don't know when we got that one. So, into ice we go, I guess. Big key of evil's bane is an ice palace. Alright, well that's good. That's good to know. FG Tower big key by the time we get out of here. I'm kind of worried if we're going to have enough small keys for this. We didn't have any on our way in. Just might have to do some stupid routing. That's right, I forgot. Fire Rod doesn't immediately toast these dudes. Eh, yeah, is that it? Oh, no, it's the Hera big key. That, well, that's good too. Because I think Hera might be a crystal. <laughs> I guess we don't know where the other two pendants are. Is that gonna matter, I wonder? Do we have the big key to pod? No. We really just need the big key to pod now, honestly. <laughs> Bottle is held with the fishes. Really? What does that mean? What is that? Oh, held with the fishes. That means, uh, catfish has a bottle. Alright, good. That means we don't need to go out of our way for that. Okay, that's a valid hint. Uh, yeah. I think. Right? Yes. Okay, setup still works with the Zelda sprite. I'm worried that I'm going to be down a small key here. normally use for that door. Maybe I don't need it right now. I can always kind of make another loop around if needed. Fifty bucks. Burrito, Tyro Castle, the most worthless. Well, tied for most worthless with the G Tower Burrito. Oh no, we'll be getting a small key under the, um, the big block. And one here. So no, we're, we're good. We're good on small keys. If we wanted to do the alternate route, we would have needed the small key back in the, uh, the four-way crosser in there. But, since we no longer care about that... Oh, the mushroom. Who likes fetch quests? Oh, sugar, we don't have... 
Ah, uh, nuts. We don't have the hook shot. So, I could try the bomb jump. I guess I kind of have to do the bomb jump here. Shit. I don't know the setup for it. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this could be fun. Uh. Crap. Not very good at this one. Uh. Yeah, this is gonna be dicey. I've only got so many bombs to do this with. It's so stodgy. There we go. Wow. Very lucky. <laughs> Very lucky. Kinda had to adjust that one on the fly. Yeah, because here's where we would need the, the key to get through that door. Because we're gonna get it right up here. Tower big key, yeah, there we go. Okay. Still gonna need that, uh... Need that hook shot at some point. <laughs> like, right now would be really good. At least get us crystal number three. There's a chance that Hookshot is on Cold Stair here. Uh, okay, we do have enough magic. Come on, give me, give me hook shot. Damn it. All right, well that's the other five sixer at the very least, and crystal number three at a buck fifty-three. In. So we're running out of places to go now. If we go back to pod, we cannot finish it without the big key. more of T-Rock, but we can't finish it without the Ice Rod. We can't get any further into Thieves Town without the Big Key. We could go do Hera, which is the Red Pendant. <laughs> okay, so kind of useless there. Um, could still have the Hook Shot or the Ice Rod up there, though. They're gonna make us look for shit. That's where they would probably put it. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't want to go back into swamp. 
Can't go back in this one. Well, we could, but it wouldn't be worth anything without the hookshot. Ah, nuts and gum. It's two more crystals. Just two more crystals. Thieves Town and Pod would be great to round this out. And we did, wouldn't need to look for Ice Rod. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, that's so annoying. Alright, well, I guess going back to pod might be the way to do it. That would give us, like, three... One, two... Yeah, three more items. I guess while we're there, we can turn in the green pendant. Oh, we've also got the mushroom. We can do that fetch quest. Alright, well, whatever. Not my most favoritest thing in the world to be doing, but... Oh well. Getting down to those... One-off locations. Which almost necessarily means double dipping. Compass for Eastern. Thanks, man. What a waste. What a waste. But alright, maybe Pod will be better. Um, I probably still do want to skip the front door, though. We'll want to keep one of these small keys intact. So that we don't have to go find the last one somewhere. I think we have both boomerangs as well. That matters terribly. Two in the maze. We can't get the big chest yet without the big key. And then one in the hallway on the way back. Okay. There's the Harris small key. The other one off small key we were looking for. Uh, I wish I knew how to do the Hera pot, honestly. Oh boy, the riot shield! Not what I wanted. <laughs> Crap. Alright, here's the last chance for Pod. Eh? 
Eh. Some gum. Okay, that's no good. It's T Rock. The mushroom turn in, I, I guess, and then T Rock is what we're down to. to Meyer without the flute. We might be able to get to Mimic Cave now, though. What with the, uh, the big key and a pocket full of small keys for T-Rock now. So that's a possibility. Uh, we could probably technically make it through Spike Cave with the amount of health that we've got. No, by logic, we shouldn't go there because we don't have Keen O'Brien or the Magic Cape. Eh? Eh. Well, while we're here, I think I've got some empty bottles, right? Hmm. Well, just the health refill isn't going to matter too much. Yep, I guess T-Rock it is. And maybe Hera, I guess? That'll be one one more item with the small key. Since we're here, we may as well. We're here. Just bought a red potion instead. Well, let's make it through without even using one. Oh, really? <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Shit. Oh, nuts. Forgot. That's right, because we're in Dark World. figure out how to do that properly. Uh, since we're on our way up to T-Rock anyways, we may as well bop into Hera real quick, get the one item there, maybe it's the hookshot. Which would put Swamp back on the table. Or maybe it's the big key to Pod. Or the big key to uh, Thieves Town. Really, all we're missing, or maybe even the ice rod. That would be not good, but it would be something. It would let us finish off T Rock, so maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
Get it? Oh, I think I saw it block myself. Yeah, sure did. How the hell did I manage to do that? Lot of nothing. Thanks for nothing, Hera. Ugh, annoying. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? <sighs> the goddamn way. Piece of shit. Oh my god, these squirrels. Okay, well there's gotta be something in T-Rock now. I know that for... Like, 99% certain, rather. So we do have a big key, we do have another small key. We get Mimic Cave, and probably like... Maybe four more in here? Wait, can we get all the way to Laser Bridge? I suppose we can, we can do everything but... Probably everything but, uh, Trinex, actually. There's a good, a good chance that we might find everything we need in here. So really we just need two big keys? Two big keys and a hookshot. The big key to Thieves, the big key to Pod, and the hookshot would be excellent right about now. Bucks. Like, come on. Something other than that. We have 1500 buckos. We don't need any more. Eh? G Tower small key. Worthless? Ugh. I guess we're not... Well, no. No, we should be able to make it the laser bridge. Oh, 
shovel, the other fetch quest. Great. At least we have the riot shield, so this should be no problem. Hey, a flute! That gets us to Mire! <laughs> and more items. More bucks. Burrito. <laughs> for T Rock, hooray. Good shot. And the cape. Oh dear. That sucked. Oops. Didn't get us what we wanted. <laughs> but alright. Flute. Flute gives us mire. It gives us way more items. We've got the dig spot we can do. Ugh. It's a very long drawn out seed. I don't like it. It's a far cry worse than the one last weekend. Good grief. Alright, whatever. Let's activate the flute and be on our way. It's fine. There was something about the Misery Mire big key being nearby. Being near Misery Mire itself, right? It's one of the earlier hints. So probably Mire Shed. Mire Shed or. Uh, Mire Shed or. Uh, checkerboard Cave, probably. Well, that's alright. Whatever. Spot, it's a bust. Now watch, it's gonna be it's gonna be ether to get into mire. That would kind of be the worst, honestly. It is quail. Okay. We're fine there. Meyer. Oh, hey, the pod big key. That's nice. And the ice rod. Okay. <laughs> well, we still can't go back and finish uh, T Rock because we don't have the last small key. But that might. This might be okay. This might actually be okay. Bombs and checkerboard. All right. Um, well, the pod big key, we can go finish that off. Do we know what Meyer is? We don't. Oh, and T Rock is the other pendant. Okay. Might be okay to leave that one be then. So we know Hera is the other pendant, right? means Meyer will be another crystal. Okay. We might be... Yeah, we might actually be good. We just need to find the hookshot now. Because so we'll get the crystal from Meyer, we'll get the crystal from Pond, that'll be five, and now we can go finish shit off. 
Oh, I bet the hookshot could still be in G Tower, too. It could be on the approach to... to Jerk Wizard. Ooh, that would be ugly. <laughs> that would be exceedingly ugly. Well, hopefully we'll find it in Mire and then it won't matter. <coughs> Excuse me. Snuck up on me. Ugh. Okay. I think we've got the Meyer Big Key. I hope we have the Meyer Big Key. Okay, good, we do. It's like, oh, come on, man. Bucks. Can't afford to leave any of these chests behind, because the one I skip will be the one I need. That's how that shit goes. Ugh. Burrito for ice. Hooray! Not even usable trash, it's just absolutely worthless. either. <laughs> Please. Hey, there it is! Finally! A fucking hook shot. Alright, let's think about this now. Do we need anything else? I think we're good now. I think we're good. So now we can finish off Meyer. Uh, and then we've got our choice of... Well, no, I guess it's just Pod. Pod is the only one we can do now. God, Hookshot at 219 is stupid. <laughs> it's really stupid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Just in case. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, MLB boys. How you doing? Alright, so we just got pretty much Meyer. Meyer, Pod, G Tower, and then we out. And we done. Well, almost done. Like a little fight Ganon. Then we can go fight Ganon and put this awful seed to rest. But, we got soft touch vitreous fight, silvers. Easy peasy. Even before his first lightning cycle there. Alright. Suck shit, Vitreous. Crystal 4, 221. <sighs> I'm doing well. Doing real well. Well, it hasn't been a great seed tonight, so I'm not doing that great, but I'm feeling okay otherwise. <laughs> In this regard. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Alright. Uh, well, off to pod. Then off to G Tower, then off to fight Ganon, and then we done. And then we done. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Then we done. Whew, it's been a hell of a slog tonight. I'll tell you that much. Although it won't end up too poorly, considering. Considering all the runaround we've done, this won't be that bad. Probably looking at maybe a 235, 240, maybe? We do still need to do the gauntlet in G Tower, which is like 7 to 8 minutes. The Ganon fight is about 2. And then we've got to get up there, which is about 3 minutes on its own. Oops, I don't want to go down the center, though. I need to preserve the small key that I've got. So, we'll need to do this run around one more time. Oh well. I don't feel like going out into the world again and looking for another pod small At least this will get me pretty much straight to where I need to be anyways. A total loss. Ooh, do we have an empty bottle? We do. You know what? We've got so much health, this probably won't matter, but... A little extra backup anyway, it's why not. Oops. Ugh. <laughs> Save your money for me to finish your drink and get a new one. Well... <laughs> we've got about maybe 15 to 20 minutes left tonight. So I don't know if you'll quite make it for tonight, but you can definitely use them another night. Surely, surely. Surely, surely. Okay, well, the Helmosaur fight should be pretty easy. What, with silvers and all? Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, did I miscount? I must have miscounted. There we go. Oh, oh, clever girl. Walk. Alright, need Chip King home, sore. Offer 20 bucks. 20 bucks and Crystal 5, and that's the last one we need at 226. So, up to Ganon's Tower we go for the final time. About gosh dang time. Honestly. Although I always find the routing very interesting when you need the double dip G tower on these randomized crystal bips here. It's kind of fun, honestly. Makes you think a bit more. Here we go. Yeah, this is looking like maybe a 240. A 240 flat, maybe a 240 in small change. Or possibly even a sub 2. Sub 240 would be okay too, honestly. Yeah, we'll probably hit a sub 240. I don't know why I'm going this way. I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. They're both about the same amount of time to get up here. This will be, what, seven, eight, maybe nine minutes in the G-Tower Gauntlet. And then a few minutes on Ganon. So yeah, okay, maybe this is looking closer to a 235, then. Hmm, I don't know. It's gonna be a little... It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Son of a... I need to stop doing that, though. I need to stop putting those damn squirrels right on the bridge. Get out of here, you little fuck. we can slam the gauntlet jerk wizard the second and ganon in seven minutes that would be a, that would be a trick to be sure but i don't think we're going to be able to do that but we'll do our best as always Clean gauntlet so far. Ah, that's a little bit shy, that one.
Not quite a clean one cycle there. Dirty ass two cycle. Just watch our arrow count though. Just make sure we have at least four by the time we leave. Ooh, cool guy strats though. We didn't get to do this last time. <laughs> that always feels good. Let's see if we can nail the second part of it. This one's always a bit tougher for me to do. Hey, oh, I did. Mm, almost had it. <laughs> almost got it. Just turned the wrong way. close before I climb the stairs, though. So. Ouch! Okay. Alright, just for grins. <laughs> 20 buckos. Hooray! On the second, you got me. You got me once. Won't happen a second time. Alright, it's invalidation chest. Is it gonna be butter invalidation chest, do you think? How rad would that be? Oh, it's butter! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Butter invalidation. Incredible. Well, here we go. The Ganon fight's gonna be even faster. Jerk Wizard fight in the world. Oh yeah, this will be a comfortable sub 240 at the very least. Not a 235 as we were hoping. But maybe a 236? 236 and change? Especially now that we have butter. Butter and tons of health and half magic and a backup, a couple backup fairies and a blue potion and geez, yeah, we got plenty. Let's go. Finish strong. Finish strong. Wow, right in the phase three. Amazing. Okay, it's, things are still pretty powerful. But we're into phase three, so that's good. Do the 
this quickly enough to... Nope. Easy piece though. Hmm, almost a, a flat 236. More. 236, 17. Not great. <laughs> Not great. But hey, we did it. We completed it. It wasn't three hours. That's always something. That's always something. But okay, prepare to fast forward. Get to them credits and them stats and then call it a night. Because I am a tired boy. Two thirty six seventeen. First crystal at Bucko three. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And then what was it for hookshot? Like two something? Like two nineteen or some ridiculous amount of time? Two nineteen, yeah, ugh. Disgusting. Pretty much full cleared the overworld. The exception of Hookshot Cave and Batman we couldn't get to because we never had powder. But we went into every dungeon at least once. That's kind of sad and disgusting. We double dipped probably most of them. Double dipped Eastern, double dipped Deserts. Double dipped Hera. Triple dipped, probably Pod. Only went into Swamp once, so that's good. Oh, we only, only went into Skull Woods once as well. Could never get to the back half of Thieves. We one shot Ice Palace. One shot Mire. And I think we only went into T Rock once? No, we went into T Rock twice. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. We did have a pretty quick Tempered Sword, though. That was nice. Super early mirror. Uh, we'd never had to deal with any dark rooms. We had really late gloves and mitts, too. That was kind of unfortunate. But I guess it was about an average seed, I, I would say. It's funny that these randomized crystal ones aren't really much different from, like, full crystals. <laughs> Just because they add such a, a deep extra layer of routing into th into shit and really prompt a lot more double and triple dips especially into G tower Ugh. but whatever I like it I, it's it's a fun little mode to do it's a little little bit more puzzly all right let's see what we got first sword at 20 20 minutes really is that late boots at just less a little bit less than an hour flute was pretty late mirror was sub one minute which is incredible and then we had tempered sword at least for all the boss fights it was good. 46 bonks, and yeah, two intentional death warps. Ugh, that collection rate though. Buck 82 out of 216. Certainly not the greatest we've ever had, but it was fun all the same, and that's the important bit. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT, Sunday Long Plays. We'll be playing Hades, Hades 1.0. A hit full release, like two, two and a half, three weeks ago, something like that. Oh man, looking forward to it. Hades is such a fun game. Really, really looking forward to it. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.